having a really busy week so I didn't have any time to do any video I thought I would jump on live and just have a little chat with you guys on how things has been going lately uh, with us so as you guys know we have recently moved to our summer house and a lot of things needed to be sorted and I felt so blessed sometimes you know, you come to think about it, sometimes not even your own family want to help you. But um, people that you don't know suddenly pop up and come to help you. So I felt like, you know, it's a bless in disgust. Uh, we have uh, guests from our previous uh, trip. Uh, who stay with us in the BNB, uh, and they wasn't literally staying with us right now, because we are fully booked. But they still come back to us and help us. Me and LG, we were very touched. You know, um, what happened is yesterday they came back. Uh, after staying here for a while, they thought that they want to give us a visit. In fact, this is the second time they visit us. So the yesterday, me and LG, we were outside, you know, working with the garden. Um, and if it's not because of them, we probably be working the whole day and I'm so exhausted. Every time when I come home, it's like, come back to my bed, it's like, wow, you know, free time. So I thought in this video, I'm going to just catch up with you and give you guys a little bit idea what I'm doing uh, on my this back out caravan. Uh, I won't go into the detail what I have been doing, but I'm just going to quickly jump into those things that I find is can be very useful for those of you who have a caravan and have problems or, uh, organizing and storing your stuff. So these are very easy tricks actually. Uh, and I find that, you know, if you have an organized brain i'm a virgo so i'm very organized in my brain and when i don't organize i just won't my brain just will not function anyway welcome to my channel my name is Esti. i am a singaporean living in north sweden if you haven't subscribed do tell me where you are from i'm curious to know so let's jump on to the caravan i'm going to show you what i've done uh recently um, I'm going to just flip the camera. Okay, guys, you don't have to spend a lot of money to, um, you know, to be prepared. A lot of people are very worried. Oh, my goodness. It's very expensive, right, to be prepared, you know, for the imminent war. So we don't want to spend money. And this is not a good time to spend money. This is a time where you're supposed to find whatever resource you have to save as much money as you as possible because there are chances that people might lose job uh, there are chances that you know things might happen and you might need medicine or you might need a new job and it's very difficult to find job nowadays so we don't have a microwave in the 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 caravan so i thought i buy one but I'm not going to spend, you know, like a few hundred crowns for a brand new one. So I bought this one, which is microwave. It's because we have to give ourselves more option. In case the gas stove is not working. In case the alcohol stove is not working. In case the... In case it's raining outside and you cannot in the open fire outside even though sweden has a lot of places where you can go camping or um a bonfire outdoor but you know it might come rain and if we are lucky we can find we can uh, seek um shelter with people that we know in, who live in the countryside we maybe pay them like uh, electricity bills so that you know we could plug in from their house so that we could use this for example and this is only 200 crown which is extremely exp uh, extremely cheap so buy second hand i think it's a good time uh, people may think ah oh, second hand look like very low class huh? don't think about that you know i think it's very uh, wrong to think about you 
Ah, I don't know why it just cut off. <laughs> so sorry. So air freshener is very important. The reason why I use air freshener because as you guys know, the the what you call it, the space is very limited, right? So the air is not so fresh, especially if you are being if you are closing the window. Uh, I show you one example. You see those window there? Actually, I open them, and because now. It's still considered spring summer in Sweden. It can be really hot, you know. A certain day, uh, it, in this uh, small caravan, it can be up to twenty eight degrees Celsius. And that's one thing you have to think about also when you are storing food in a very hot caravan. Your food might turn bad. So I have a suggestion to you guys. I'm going to show you this box. <clears throat> I bought a lot of this box. <laughs> this is just it fit just underneath my, you know, my this the bait there. So what I do is I just push them in. So and and also I notice, you know, if you put your food, especially things like uh, sugar, flour, um, even canned food, uh, chocolates, you know, you need to keep them away from the heat because uh, the heat is coming from the ceiling on top, right? So it's going to be really hot if you put them, for example, here because I put my chocolates up there, yeah? And then the ceiling is up here. Then it's really, really hot. So now I took out my chocolate and then I look at it oh lucky me it's still okay you know i still could eat them but i'm going to transfer them into boxes uh like the boxes that i show you just now so sorry so like the boxes that i show you just now so that i could stuff them underneath the bed there see the bed there so because the heat is coming from on top so underneath the bed is usually cooler so that's one thing you should do and also stuff like um, like this kind of sausages dry sausages and even uh, like dry fruits you know it's not good to store them in high heat so these are all my snacks uh, uh, basket and some cookies with uh, chocolate fillings and some uh, waffles with vanilla fillings so these are things that will melt so and it will spoil for sure if you don't put them in the right in the right temperature. So you know guys, my summer house is very small. We don't have a lot of cupboard. So the only place that I could think about now is uh, put in, you know, in the hole there. <laughs> because I find that that is the coolest place to put. Yeah. And does it make sense or not? <laughs> So no no choice, you know, and then I think that the summer is going to be even more hotter. And I heard that in places like in Spain, it's like 45 degrees Celsius yesterday and today, and it will continue to be like uh, until middle of next week. So how you could survive, yeah. So for me, I, I find it's really scary, you know, just thinking about 30 degrees it will kill me already. So that is one thing that I did and I'm going to flip the camera so you can see what I'm hold, I'm doing now. Uh, I found this again. This is really, really good. Uh, this is actually, you know, for the car. Right? For the car. So the reason why I take out this one is because, um, as you can see, uh, the, the roof is very low. So in the morning, we get a lot of mor the morning sun from here and from this window and this window. So I couldn't sleep and then the bird is like ping, 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 the whole morning. <laughs> so I have problem. I woke up like four or five o'clock in the morning because I am so easily this uh, waking up. And when I woke up, you know, I can't sleep. So what I plan to do is that I'm planning to use this one, uh, maybe make some like a removable sticker, like you can stick on and reuse it over and over again. So I have measured, it's actually fit this window perfectly. So I'm going to put this uh, like, a, what do you call that? The reflector. 
so I don't feel so hot because in the morning in this bed, it can be like 30 degrees Celsius and I can't sleep when it is hot. So this is one thing that I, I plan to do. And also, I didn't throw away the mosquito net. This is actually an old mosquito net that is magnetic. So this is, can be quite good to recycle them instead of throwing it away. So I cut them from the, you know, the different length. Actually, this is uh, one third of the window and the other third is here. All right. The other third is on here. So you see, again, I didn't spend anything. Literally, I tried to save as much as I can. And I think I hear uh, a flies. Can you hear a flies in this? Okay, never mind. Let me show you another organizing uh, hack. I bought this in Ikea. I think this is like 10 crown or 15 crown. I can't remember. M bought this like for ages. Kept in the storeroom, no use. And then I said, okay, you know, because the toilet is really, really small and there is no storage here. So I thought maybe I put this one on so I can, you know, save up some space to put, um, what do you call that? To put the uh, toilet rolls. And over here, there's also some space here where I could use to build shelf, you know. So these are things that you can buy, like this kind of uh, really cheap, or you can even sew yourself on this kind of bag. And then you can put them on this wall. I think this is uh, can be very good if you have like, you know, toiletries. Because right now we only have like a few items, like a hair dryer, and then I have some toilet wet towels and nothing here. And, and again, if we don't have so much space in this this uh, toy, uh, this uh, cupboard, you see, we haven't really lived in here yet. This is like for emergency purpose. Right now, I have put everything away in the the summer house. Another thing I find is very useful is this uh, traveling bag. So the there's one tag that you can put up very very long. Huh? So you can put more toiletries. So that is one way you could save space also. And another way is that I, you can get this one. Again, this one I didn't spend anything to build on. I think this is like very cheap. If I'm not wrong, it's like 25 kroner in Ikea. I painted it black because this is actually for the herbs. But you see how much you can put, right? So, and then I just need to screw them. And this is removable. If I don't want this to be here, I can just lift up and then remove them. So otherwise, I think toiletry is really important. Uh, if you are staying for, a, you know, like a long term. And I have bought uh, one of these. I didn't sew this myself. I wish I could. So I buy this one because I want to know how to sew it pruner if I'm not wrong and I find it so cheap because if I'm going to sew this myself it's probably going to waste my whole day and I don't have time for that and this is really really good because um, you guys know I sleep here so every time when I sleep I have my telephone here uh, otherwise I remove them and then I have my glasses here so I could reach in the morning oh see if anyone is outside or not so this is a, a very good um, storage uh, pockets that I bought recently to see if I can sew it myself. But 75 kroner is, uh, 79 kroner is quite cheap, right? Which is about $7. So I think it's uh, okay. Then you know you can put a lot of stuff. <laughs> and I think I've shown you guys this one already. This is actually a home-sewn home one. And then below i notice if you have a lot of boxes like um, like this kind for example this is actually a makeup box so i try to different i try to separate this um, this box because i find that you know i have even more makeup stuff and i don't want to show them so i have also you know stuff that i really want i really need 
and then you know you put them neat and tidy and this is just bottles from my vitamins <laughs> so i reuse them and then i put on my brushes so just keep them in under the the what do you call it the shelf and also my medicine box is here and over here i have some put alcohol for my gas stove so all in one box i find that with the boxes it's really really good because you know if you can see underneath and pack so that you know you when the caravan move especially if you are fleeting you need to drive faster right so you it's good to have you have them in boxes and I haven't really filled up the space yet, but I'm going to do that later on. I, I haven't packed the thing, so I was thinking if I pack the food. And I don't want to pack those food that will spoil easily because this is a very warm uh, area uh, to keep food. So I will plan to put, and then I write now the list of, of things that I'm going to put. Like, okay, I know how much this uh, would... Uh, be enough for how many cans of tomato or sauce or how many cans of meat so you have to calculate a little bit in case you wonder this one again i didn't i didn't buy this first and this is actually a, a antique table where you can use for camping so to buy a brand new one it costs about between uh, 500 to uh 1000 kroner if you just buy this foldable one and i bought this from a neighbor yeah, he put it up at, at 150 kroner and i find it's worthwhile paying because i find that the quality is very good you know this one we, we like can last you for a whole life so stuff like that i think it's worth investing and because you're going to be not only that you need them for camping sometimes if you have uh, like gas you know if you have a party and you need an extra table it can be really good so we bought some lights here so i'm going to put them in like this kind of boxes and put them on top of the shelf so that stuff like that we might need to use them quite often and also here this is actually from uh, extra of my bmb uh, storing so this has been sitting in the <laughs> we call that a uh, rubbish room so i thought hey i put on this hook and then i just you know let them sit here and then i can put my soya sauce my oil my condiments here while the the van is uh stable right and and let me show you this one this one even better this is actually bookshelf holder so you see how much i can put i can put uh, use a uh, paper bag my dish uh, cloth i put a uh, filter chlorine and then i have garbage bag i even have tray baking tray disposable one because i find that and then the pot, uh, and how do you call that, on the lake? You know, for putting the pot. How do you call that? Anyone tell me, how do you put, what do you call this? And then we have this like a seal for cooking. And this can be, this is an inflatable one. And barbecue grill tray, uh, baking tray, and then chopping board oil and then we have fire extinguisher and fire extinguisher blanket so you see you put them tight and packed when the caravan move the chances is they will not fall out right and then this is actually a bicycle uh, bicycle basket from LG's old bicycle so he said oh, i'm not going to use it okay i said yeah you see it fit into this place this space so this can be really, really good if you want to go wash dishes in the river. So you can just take this and then it will drip, you know, let it drip dry outside. And then before you put them in. So, uh, and then I have a, a gas stove there. Not gas stove, this is an electric stove. And pots and pan. And again, this one is also from Ikea, my garbage bag. I didn't mind spend any money again this is the old one 
for putting plastic bag and maybe uh, kitchen towels. And uh, let me show you just, hopefully this is the last one <coughs> idea. Oh, no, one more idea. <laughs> you guys know, right? When you go camping, you know, outside, you get dirty shoes. So you don't want to bring the dirty shoe inside. So I bought this. I have this one actually is in my garbage room. So I say, okay, again, the same concept. So I can put all the shoes before I come in or maybe use for indoor shoe. And I also have uh, one of this kind of Ikea box where I come in, remove, put my shoe inside because at night it will be very misty. So your shoe will be wet. So if you put inside this kind of box, it has a very good lid. Let me just show you how it looks like. So you can put, <laughs> you can put a shoe inside. And then never forgetting tools. I have these bags where I <clears throat> put all my tools that I need. You know, you, you never know. You might need this for like a last minute. You want to put up a, a poncho somewhere in the forest. Or maybe you want, just want to take cover. Uh, so this can be really good. You just need to pam 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 on the tree. And then you, you are under shelter. So some of the tools that we need, definitely. Like this is a... Uh, what do you call that? GPS, the old star one that doesn't require any, uh, what do you call that? That doesn't require any internet. So these are things that you can get and charge them before, all right? Make sure that they are fully charged. And this can last you like a few months. I haven't been uh, charging it because I've been using my phone all the time. So I think I bought them like 10 years ago. I only use them a few times. So these are things that you can buy, you can get. Yeah, in case you don't have uh, internet. So put them in the bag like this with a lot of compartment so that you know you get yourself organized so you can find stuff easily. And I think I don't know whether I show you this one. This is also another hack. I have hundreds of these. This is like five kroner each, 50 cent. And then um, I thought, hey, instead of sitting there, and then I find this uh, wire net. So I said, okay, put it up. You see, another storage place. <laughs> and also on top, you guys need towels, right? So this space is wasted. So I thought, hey, instead, I clean my caravan every day so it's no start dusty at all and we use this quite often because uh, you know you need to have shower right so overall I think it's very very simple stuff and I think it's very important to uh, organize them so you know the only thing that was missing is that I didn't label it so I just get some paper and uh, like your tape and i'm going to just you know i'm not going to buy those advanced stuff which is going to cost you a lot on the refill tape so just normal paper rack it big so you know what is in each individual box and also if possible stack all your plates and make sure that they doesn't move you know they are tight so this is not moving so much you know so it's really, very really good. And don't waste the space in the microwave. All right. Oh, I can't open this. Maybe it's because of this. So you can use the space in the microwave <laughs> to put stuff like plastic stuff, like this kind of plastic stuff. Yeah. Put them in the microwave. I hope I've shown you guys everything. And of course, the space here, very important. If you can utilize them, utilize them fully. This is the water, inflatable water container. I have umbrellas here. And then I have my uh, live straw here for drinking water uh, in case of emergency. 
So have this kind of stuff like close to the entrance because you know you might be trapped and then sometimes of course it's better to put them in the car when you drive but I'm going to transfer them later. There are certain things that you need to transfer but um, let me just flip the camera over so that I can speak to you guys. I hope you guys can hear me. Eh? Well, so there are certain things that you can transfer them. Uh, and I think your vehicles need to uh, have stuff that you need, like a vest, like a luminous vest, so that people or the police or the minister can spot you, uh, like, you know, from distance. Uh, and also in the dark, you know, you need all this to keep yourself visible. Of course, you want to be visible to the right people. You cannot be visible for your enemy. So you have to have two different types. You have to have one that is camouflage and you want to have one that is visible when you want to be seen, especially if it's an emergency case. So I'm going to do another video, which I'm going to show you what I put in the car. Because what you put in the car and what you put in the caravan is uh, like things that you staple style means like food medicine uh, but not all medicines you might need some medicine in the car so i think i probably have to uh, do a short video uh, what i put in the car because you know you are not um, sure that you may be able to transport your car and your caravan it might be a event where you know you are forced to leave your caravan and when you are leaving your caravan you don't have time to pack everything you know all over again so it is very smart that you have like a bug out bag that you are when you're forced to be in the forest by foot or by car without the caravan so you have to be smart enough <laughs> sorry the wind is very strong <laughs> the the dog keep panking, panking. So it is very important that you have um, the right tools in your car. You need to have medicine, you need to have torchlight, you need to have glove. The reason why you want to have glove is that you might need to leave because there may be tree falling, you know. Then you need to have a saw because in case the tree is falling on, on the road, you need to remove the tree right so you need to have a saw right so when you leave the saw pine trees the trunk is uh, full of uh, you know a lot of very sharp stuff so you need to have a glove or maybe you need to change the tire so I think all this kind of stuff you need to like have a plan in your mind like what you probably need so that you know you could uh, get out of situation quickly without you know worrying okay Oh, you know, you might not have time to come back to the caravan and start searching all your things. So it's very important if you can write down a plan. Like let's say this caravan, I, you can see it's not so big. So even all those different, different um, cupboard, you know, write down very visually what are the things that is in each cabinet also. So you know, in case of emergency, you know, okay, this one. Is medicine okay this one is uh, you know stuff that I need to protect myself like uh, defense gear right so I think is when you are organized like that you know you find that not say that you're in control you find that this will load off a lot of stress unnecessary stress you know that okay you are already you already have all this stuff what there is missing I think is uh, really you know, uh, you really don't need a lot. You don't need a, like a tan t-shirt, you know, during a trip. So, and it's also depending on the season that you are bucking out. Uh, of course, when the winter comes, this kind of caravan will not be able to withstand the temperature because our winter can be like minus 15 degrees to minus 25 degrees. So how are we going to hold ourselves warm, right? if there is no insulation in the wall of this um, caravan. So I thought about that and I, I, I tell myself, okay, if the caravan is cold, 
we have to change. So last week, me and LG went to buy this uh, sleeping bag, you know, those camping sleeping bag that is for minus 11 degrees, uh, minus uh, the, the coldness here. I think it's possible that it can go down to minus 10 minus 11 so try and get the sleeping bag that is able to withstand as cold as possible if you are living in a cold country well if you are living in a warm country it is okay you know and then also i don't think so it's so heavy with a blanket uh wool blanket is very good if we can get and then you know they, they have this uh let me just show you i show you this bag mm. Oh, where is my bag? Okay, I'm sure you know. <laughs> okay, this is a very good example for this organization. All right, so I think it is good to have them all in a paper, like write down all your things, where it is, exactly it is. If possible, put them on the, put a sticker or a paper there. So it's actually a... Uh, uh, you, you know those people who fall sick if they have pain in the stomach so they have this water bag that is made of rubber right so you fill up the hot water so let me tell you that is a super smart idea with that water bag it can last at least two hours to keep you warm make sure your water bag is really warm and then you put them under in your sleeping bag or under your blanket and it will keep you warm because the most crucial part is that when you go into a cold room you quickly go into the blanket and you want to keep yourself as warm as possible for the first two hours and I think after one to one and a half hours your body is adapting already and you are under the blanket or under the sleeping bag you know the heat already produced and also the the your body is perspiring from the hot bags right so this is a really good way to keep yourself warm if you don't have an insulated caravan so i did some research and i found out you know what temperature and under what circumstances you should do uh, to keep yourself warm you know but you know we haven't really get into that situation before so it's really hard unless you try it right so don't quote my word, okay? But I, I, I just found out all this information through internet. And I, depending on what kind of caravan and where you are staying. So do your research yourself from your country. Talk to people with experience. Uh, if you can find a Facebook group, because there are a lot of Facebook group in the, in the whole world. But find those that are close to your area because there are always new group uh, on Facebook that start, oh, okay, maybe in uh, South of Canada, there is a group of people that has this Facebook group. Talk to them, ask questions because when you talk to people locally, they are able to give you more exact prediction or their experience. And most of them, they are willing to share their experience. That's the purpose of group, right? So I think join some group, get your research done, get your homework done. And also, you know, think of, you know, what circumstances might turn up in your situation, in your country. So it's very good to have experience from other people. And for us, um, I just felt like, you know, we are in a very risky um, situation now. Uh, we, our government, you know, try to join NATO. We don't know if it is uh, going to go through smoothly. I just hope that, you know, everything is um, going to be fine. And I'm not going to lie to you. The things is not going to be fine <laughs> because if you look at the news, and we are uh, isolating the risk every day. And also the food shortages is one thing that I'm most afraid of. So, you know, don't care about what other people think, you know. You know, when I prep, I don't share again. I don't share, right, 
take that on social media because I think my Swedish friends are thinking that I'm crazy, you know. And Swedish people, they don't talk about this. They say, oh, this is something that we don't talk about because it's like, not taboo, but this is like unduly excited or not excited, unduly worried, you know. And they don't want to like, talk about this because Swedish people doesn't like to talk about things that are negative but I think that it is stupid that they don't because if you know you must be prepared you can be you cannot be like uh, at least your family and your loved one can be taken care of during a short period and I think preparedness it is not crappy I mean it is not something that is unnecessary it is something that you do for yourself. It's your own responsibility to take care of yourself because your government is never going to do that for you. And you have to do that for your own sake and for your loved one. And also, I also talk about in my previous video, you know, my previous video, you know, that we must also think about like uh, what kind of people that we should help. Because even family members, you know, they are, uh, I do not know about your family or, but I can give myself an example, you know. I find that some family members, they are unreliable. They just want to depend on you. They just expect that they will depend on you, all right. So, and have they helped you? No, they only call you when they need you, you know, just like um, in many cases I've seen, you know. They only contact their brothers and sisters for help when they need the help. And when you need the help, you ask them, they don't help you, you know. So I think it's, uh, it's definitely you have to, you know, even put a list of things, people that, you know, that you might help. People that doesn't help you or doesn't even bother or just want to make use of you all the time, strike them off. All right, protect yourself. In Sweden, we don't talk so much about defense because it's illegal to have a weapon. Uh, but now, I'm looking into the possibility because you never know, you might get robbed in the future, not now. The situation here in here is uh, still quite cool. You know, we still have food in the supermarket. There's no panic buying. There is nobody talking about, oh, okay, uh, food is expensive. Yes, there is news about that but to them it's like no big deal you know the only thing that worries me is the patrol car the patrol is extremely expensive uh, we don't use gas when we cook so uh, we are quite safe uh, but then el electricity is very important and we i think we also produce our own electricity so in a way, I find that Sweden, 50% uh, is uh, self-sustainable uh, in terms of food. Uh, Electricity-wise, I do not know how many percent. But it's still, you know, that's why nobody is talking about that because you haven't reached the panic stage yet. But it will soon come. Uh, update. I hope this will give you an update on how the situation here is and also some hopefully useful tips from me to your family and uh, hit me a message if you find that this video is useful and please share them all right i'll see you in my next video uh, i probably be doing some live so on wednesday uh, i'm thinking because usually at this time i'm quite relaxed in the day uh, i'm very busy doing things around the house um, so the best time for me is evening time during this time for example so i'm planned in wednesday and sunday i will be chatting with you guys keep you guys update if i come across anything that i find is useful and relevant i'll share them with you all right take care guys i'll see in my next video have a nice week ahead Bye-bye.